Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome to uh, the inaugural, well, not inaugural, but one of the Postmark Game streams, uh, the uh, launch day celebration of the Voyager's Kickstarter. Uh, I'm here with uh, Rory Muldoon, fellow, uh, uh, you know, person in crime at, at Postmark Games. But also, much more importantly, I want to welcome our two incredible, amazing guests, Suzanne Sheldon, on the right, joining us from across the seas, uh, the the, a roll and write enthusiast. Uh, Absolutely. That, <laughs> uh, and Michael Fox, uh, who needs no introduction. No, I, 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 we didn't. We didn't cover how how you want to be known, Michael. So no, uh, like we, we we did all this sort of like special like okay, so Suzanne, we need to like how, how do you want to be done? And I'm just sort of like sat here waiting to be <laughs> to, to be come to, and then it was just like all right, thirty seconds, let's go. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, hi everyone. I'm Michael. Um, apparently, I'm a nobody. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, you can tell I'm, that we're we we're saying we, we might know something about game design and, and graphic design, but streaming not necessarily. So our, our forte. So apologies, Michael. I'm, <laughs> but I also, Suzanne, uh, would you like to introduce yourself to the to the stream? Uh, who are you? Uh, Sure. Like? I mean, my name's Suzanne Sheldon, and I think I'm, you know, probably best known for being one of the co-hosts of the Dice Tower podcast. Um, but I'm also, as Matthew pointed out, a massive Roland Wright enthusiast. I own like well over like I own hundreds of them, right? And uh, I really enjoy the format, and I'm really excited about voyages and kind of the whole concept of what Matthew and Rory have done here. So I'm I'm really honored that you invited me to play the game. Plus, I'm a big fan of Michael, and Michael and I don't get to spend enough time together. Bless you, bless you. And and I'm also a fan of Michael's game designs. I think that Michael has a way of connecting, uh, kind of bringing something unique. Right. I've played a lot of games in my life. Right. I've been playing games for you know well over 25, 27 years now. Um, and, and Michael brings something really unique and emotional and meaningful to the world of play. And I think that that's, you know, anytime I can spend with Michael, it elevates me so much. So I'm, I'm excited to be here with that as well. I don't think I've ever had such high. I don't think even my mother has said anything. Nice <laughs> enough. Cripes. Thank you, Suze. Good no lord. Pressure. No but, pressure. Not much. Um, blimey. <laughs> so what? What? Yeah. What's your response to that, Michael? You know, <laughs> uh, it's all lies. No. Um, so yeah, no. Hello, I'm Michael. Um, I am a game designer person. Um, I've done stuff like Mega City Oceania. I've done uh, Holding on Trouble Life of Billy Kerr. Uh, I used to work for a company called Hub Games, uh, and I now have my own little company, which is called Wayfinder. Um, we have just delivered our first Kickstarter. Uh, the last copies of that went out yesterday, the split. Uh, so, Matt, you should have your copy pretty soon, which is I hope all good. So. Um, assuming that the British Postal Service actually manages to get themselves sorted. Um, and yeah, basically, yeah. Look, I've, I've, look. Oh, look at that. He's got his, he's got his little... Uh, there it is. His, the split chip. This go. is so good. This is like my... Um, this is my stuck on Zoom meetings uh, little fiddly <laughs> thing yeah. these these days. It's very, very nice. It's very tactile and it's beautiful. I love the logo, They're really actually. nice, aren't they? Like, I was mad really surprised nice. when they landed and they were just like, oh, this is actually very good quality. That's really yeah, nice. and the gold on them is really nice. And yeah, they just they feel like a really nice premium thing. Very nice to, to fiddle with. There you go. But yeah, uh, considering like the split was like our first project, it was essentially like a, um, a a proof of concept to see if we could turn around a game from Kickstarter to production to delivery in under three months, and we did it. So that was quite nice. Reasonably happy with that. Uh, and now we're working on Project 2, Project 3, and Project 4. Wow. Um, um, and I can't say anything about any of them because they're all licensed. <laughs> wow. wow! Oh, so, great! So Boo earns. So yeah, that's why uh, I would normally be. Um, I would normally be doing game design on my my live streams on my Twitch channel, and I've not been able to do any for weeks and weeks because literally everything I'm working on is under NDA. That's really exciting, though. <laughs> that's great. When will we know? Is, do you have a kind of a date when you can start teasing us? 
Yeah, Project 2 is officially going to be announced in January. Um, so not too far. Not too far away. And it is uh, it's something I'm very excited about. Uh, I'm currently coordinating all the art for that with my uh, co-founder here at Wayfinder called Rain. And yeah, we're just sort of like looking down the barrel of 78 different pieces of art and my mind hurts and my bank balance is screaming. So... Games, yo, they're fun. <laughs> Get into publishing. That's where they're funny. So, uh, and uh, I've just, uh, there's a, yeah, this is if you want to check out uh, the split, which was uh, uh, Wayfinder Games' um, Thank you. Thank you. first project. And a quick hi before we add uh, to Tantolorus, who's uh, also hey. a great supporter of us, Aqua, uh, all the Deadpan, uh, welcome, PMP community. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Bez, hey, Bez. Welcome, welcome, wonderful, um, wonderful supporter of, of the channel, of Postmark, of, of all things wonderful in game design. Uh, Rory, I haven't given you a chance to introduce yourself, um, so if you'd like to do so. Um, I sort of didn't mean to do a side, and that's a, that's a very pretty, <laughs> that pretty thing, so isn't it? That is so sad! Just to do a side <laughs> before you introduce yourself. I, I, that's more, more of a side of exhaustion. I think, you know, um, Matt and I have um, talked about this before, but... Uh, I think the thing that both of us struggle with is kind of self self promotion to a degree. Um, you know, we had some great feedback um, from folks on the Kickstarter page before we launched, and you know, one of them was we had to blow our own trumpets a bit more. So we've been doing that, but it does, you know, when you're not used to that, it does take it out out of you a little bit because um, it's kind of, you know, we're out of our comfort zones a little bit. But anyway, I'm Rory, and I am one half of Postmark Games, uh, and. I am a game designer, and I'm also a graphic designer and illustrator. Um, yeah, I've got some of my own games probably behind me, just somewhere just underneath the stormtrooper head. Oh no, 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 nobody does that. I don't know. What to <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and but this is my first foray into self-publishing. Um, so yeah, um, this is kind of it's all new to me. Hence the sigh, hence the exhaustion. But I'm very happy and very, very excited. You know, this is um, this is this is good. I I think any time you can just make and play games for work, that's just Oops. that's just mad lols, isn't it? So it yeah. is. Sorry, I've now what am I doing? Hold on. Oh, we can only do. Okay, that makes sense. Sorry. No, I was just gonna to, to I was gonna smoothly transition into um to the to the Voyager's Kickstarter, which I should say thank you to. I I, I think there's a bunch of people in the chat who have supported the projects who said they've supported. We launched today. Um, I can't. I was saying before that I would have been. I wouldn't have even imagined we would have reached numbers like this even for the whole campaign. But for I mean, we're about at I don't know um eight hours or so, you know half a day is incredible. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who has supported the project. Um, directly to Suzanne and Michael, who've also done a lot to uh, spread the word and, and have been very supportive of what we're doing. Um, and also just by appearing on the stream uh, to play. Uh, so really, thank you, everyone. And, and we've been just blown away by the kind of support and kindness and positivity. And I hope that it is the start of something great and a start of a really great community. Um, I think especially games like this hopefully inspire a bit of a sense of community like we're, what we're doing now, um, hopefully. So I think with that... Um, Sorry, it just struck me I hadn't actually backed it yet, so there you go. That's <laughs> oh, my God. Good thing I didn't do a control F on the backer list or something and <laughs> do a bit, bit of controlling there on the uh, other thing. Uh, so, yes, uh, I will... Uh, I guess I should throw... The... Bez, Bez has very kindly posted the link in the comments already. Oh. Thank you, Bez. <laughs> Thank you, Bez. I was going to say, complete professionals here. You know, how do we get to the project? Um, anyway. So, but today, today on the stream, the point is to celebrate uh, by playing playing the game. You know, uh, I think uh, the uh, what I, I want to just qu very quickly throw to Michael just to have a quick chat about IdleCon and and Rory because mm. that's that's the origin of the game uh, actually, which I think is really cool. So maybe Michael you could tell us a, a little bit about that just quickly. Yeah. So um, over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Idle Michael. Uh, last, yeah, this was from the Christmas one, wasn't it, Rory? It was, yeah, because yeah. we did IdleCon in 2.0. Uh, and last Christmas, between like Christmas Day and New Year, uh, obviously a hell of a lot of us were locked down uh, all around the world. And I wanted to do something that would bring together my 
what was then very teeny little community. Uh, I only really properly started streaming in October-ish last year. And we didn't have a massive community at all. But but the people who were there were fantastic. And we just thought, okay, so what can we do just to sort of like keep ourselves entertained, keep ourselves going? So we did this thing called IdleCon, uh, which was essentially a... Uh, it was a game jam that lasted one day for the design and the putting together. And then the following day was going to be the playing of all of the games that people designed. Uh, very, very light game jam rule set in that it needed to be a something and right game that people could uh, people could play using the something that everybody would have in their in their house whether that would be dice or coins or cards you know like a deck of playing cards that sort of thing uh, and we had I think there was 12 13 games that came out of that whole extravaganza. Uh, for what was meant to be like one day's worth of playing, uh, it actually ended up being about two and a half days worth of playing in the end because there were just so many freaking games that got submitted, which was lovely and wonderful. Uh, and one of them, uh, sort of like, sort of nascently inspired from it was Voyages. And uh, we got to play that again later on stream a little bit down the line. Or sort of like, it was like Voyages 0.1, I guess. Yeah, I think uh, so. Um... The kind of I think the it's it's a a bit of a different beast now than it was mm. when I designed it for that for or you know when I came up with the kind of idea for it for Idlecon. I think I did it in about three hours because I missed the submission or I'd very nearly missed the submission deadline. <laughs> so um it was a bit ropey and but there was some interesting stuff. And you know, the the yeah. I think the fantastic thing about um Idlecon and I think all game jams in general really, but this one in particular because it was um it was virtual is you can design something and play test it with a bunch of people straight away. It's like mm -hmm. naught to proof of concept, <laughs> like in no time at all. And you don't often get that as a game designer. Like, oh, I don't know, the amount of times I've spent hours, months, whatever, thinking of a, a game concept being like, this is going to be great start building it, play it, and it's awful. And it's just, you know, but that's part of game design, really. Uh, yeah. Maybe not for, you know, kind of experienced game game designers um, <laughs> like yourself and, and Matt. But for me, as a fairly new game designer, there's a lot of trial and error. And so to be able to do something and, and play it straight away, it was, it, is, it was absolutely brilliant. And since then, developed it a bit more. But that gave me the confidence to be like, there's something cool here. You know, some of it yeah. doesn't work. Some of it's great. And um, then... Um, Matt came on board and uh, fixed a whole bunch of stuff which wasn't really working. And um, yeah, now we've got something which is hopefully, you know, uh, a smooth sailing ship, to use an appropriate analogy. And um, yeah, and yeah, I, well, we'll see when we play it, but I'm still as awful as at it as I was back then. So, um, you know, I felt, I felt a bit embarrassed. I did a solo playthrough for the Kickstarter campaign mm. and all the way through it, I kept thinking, Oh, I really got to play this well to show show off how, how it plays. I just felt the pressure of it because I was thinking in the back of my mind, I was thinking, I know the sorts of scores that that uh, Matt routinely gets when he plays solo, and I'm not getting anywhere near that. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but you, you are leaning into the whole a game designer is never any good at the game that they play, uh, the game that they design because we, we just suck at everything that we make. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm, I'm, a game of the split, no, never. Unfortunately for me, Michael, it's a, a game designer who's not very good at playing any games. Um, I don't oh. know. I don't have a. I, I'm setting myself up now nicely for when I do lose. I can be like, "Told you," or maybe, maybe it's all a massive ruse, and I'm going to just shark you into into not taking me seriously, and then I'll come from behind and. Loads of pushing the boundaries. Let's go. I was going to ask before we start, uh, Susan, have you had any experience with? I mean, being the you know, you were saying you probably maybe have played the most role and rights of anybody in the world, possibly. Have, has, has, has any company ever turned to you for like development or design in, in role and rights? Is that something that you've ever thought of or any interest in or it's? I've, I've play tested a few and I've provided feedback on a few uh, for, for sure over the years. Um, I've helped with translations of rules for some that were developed in other languages and things like that. But from 
I would never, ever say that I've had any role in designing or developing a game uh, because that is not my world. I What you do, what you people do is a complete and utter, like, it's mysticism to me. I do not understand how game designer brains work. They... They, they they worry me a little bit on on how the brains work like work um so no i i have you know play tested a little bit here and there and i i really like when i get asked to do that it's fun but that's the that's the extent of it yeah no i mean that that's i mean that's incredibly uh, speaking as a designer it, that that participation also completely um it's very re not rewarding um generous to do to do that as well and, and and you know so useful because yeah not you know it's 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 connecting with people who don't think the same way as you necessarily and, and making sure that you're, you're getting to experience the same game hopefully yeah like for that example i mean i've played a lot and one of the the unique things that voyages has is the way that you use a die for direction so i mean i know rory's going to walk through the rules but I really appreciate how you know, you're, we're rolling three dice and each of the dice serves a different role in how you interact with the game, which creates a, not, a lot of nice tension. Um, but, you know, we've seen games that you roll dice and you allocate them in different places. That's been done before. But one of the things I really like in Voyages is the way that you use the die from direction is actually not something that's common. And I couldn't think of, I, I actually spent, I'm like, oh, I like this. Can I think of another you know, directional line drawing, pathing, roll and write that's done this. And I'm like, I can't, I can't think of it. You know, I think this is the first one I've had the opportunity to play. And like I said, I played a lot that that's done that. And I think, you know, that's one of the, that that's so cool. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree. I think that's a good, a good uh, segue into uh, Voyages, which I will, I will put my screen up. Whoops. Can I do that? Complete professionals here. Uh, and is. here, <laughs> here is the map of voyages and i think rory's gonna walk us through or maybe do you want to walk through on your screen maybe it's easier to do that you um, can point to what you want to point to yeah okay yeah i'll try and do this with some more more enthusiasm than i did uh, talking about myself because that wasn't that wasn't great uh so you can you can see my screen moving around mouse moving around um if i draw can you see that yeah yep, yep. great Okay, so here is map one of Voyages, and probably worth mentioning at this point that um, we have got two maps in the campaign so far, and there will be more in future. And the maps are kind of a, a bit like uh, how you would, I, I, well, I've been sort of describing it as like Ticket to Ride. So each map is, the core gameplay is the same, but the locations are, will be different, and there'll be some, some other elements that are introduced um, in in the other maps, so hopefully that will keep it fun and exciting for folks that play a lot of a lot of the maps, a lot of times. Um, so uh, as Suze was mentioning, the the kind of the movement on voyages. So you were travelling around this 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 ocean, this map here, and the movement is uh, dictated by dice, uh, specifically the direction um, here, which is done on this windrose. So each of the, the each of the sides of the hexagons on the map corresponds to a number on the dice. So we're just using st like standard six-sided dice here. Uh, so each six, uh, each side of the, the hexagon is, is a number on the dice. So if you pick a one on the dice, that moves you in a north direction because one is up. If you picked a four, that would move you in a south direction because four is down. Uh, and six is northwesterly, two is northeasterly, three is southeasterly, and five is southwesterly. So that's kind of the direction. So we're, you know, like in a lightly thematic way, kind of uh, representing the wind a bit. Um, you'll also use a dice for speed, which is the number of hexes that you move. And that's just literally uh, the space correlating to the number of dice. So if you picked a three as your speed, you would move three spaces. So let's say, for example, the dice roll was a three, a two, and a one. And I picked the two as direction, which is north, uh, north, easterly and I pick the three as the speed I would draw a line like this and that's where I would end the first turn uh, in this space here and then from the next turn I would move from this space somewhere else uh, using the dice roll so the dice are rolled every turn uh, we all use the same results so we're all playing simultaneously uh, which is great for a video chat like we're doing now um, and yeah and you know we might start off 
using the same dice to move in the same direction, but uh, you know, from playtesting the game a lot, you end up with very divergent paths, and everybody has their kind of unique voyage at the end of the game, which is, um, I don't know, from my perspective, and I think Matt's as well, is that that's something we think is an exciting part of the game, is that you can look back at your sheet and you can see your voyage laid out in front of you. You can see where you went, what you did, what you got up to. And we will see them by the end of the stream. We will see, we will them. see them by Four the end of the stream. different voyages. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so that's what you do with two of the dice. The third dice you use for completing duties, which is this um, box down here. Um, and that sort of um, represents you running your ship. So you're the captain of a ship sailing out to sea. You're deciding where you move using two of the dice. And then the other dice, you're deciding on duties to complete. And essentially, you're just crossing off a corresponding number that's on the dice that you pick. And you're trying to complete rows and columns in this duties board uh, to unlock um, bonuses, really, items and things like that. And we'll go into what each of those do in, in a moment, but that's essentially what the three dice do. So every every round, we're rolling three dice, picking two for movement, one for our duties, maybe doing some other stuff, and that's it. Uh, the way we score is through a number of different ways. So Voyages is kind of a sandboxy style game, so you can you can kind of specialise in certain things or you can do a little bit of everything. You can score points by visiting islands. So if in your picking the dice, so let's say my first turn was this, and my second turn I picked a three and a one, for example. I went here. I visited this island here. I get three gold at the end of the game for visiting that island. Um, you know, uh, thematically, you can imagine that as a the the uh, the patron that the the person on that island is is becoming a patron of your voyage and they're committing some of their resources to you because they like what you're doing so that's a way to score points um, another way to score points is if you end your turn on um, one of these brown spaces that is cargo that you can load so if i did this which would be a one and a four i would head up here i would finish on this space which is a hide i would gain that hide it's a piece of cargo doesn't do anything for me just yet, but if I can then get to a settlement, which are these islands with the kind of the house and the anchor icon on, I can sell that piece of cargo and it will get me two gold. And the thing with cargo is you can sell um, all of one type. So if I had managed to get three, oh, that's a bad circle. If I managed to get three hide before I visited this settlement, so let's say I was doing something like this, that would obviously be three turns. I could then sell that by crossing these out and it would get me 12, 12 gold because I get I get the gold above each of these for each item. Um, if you don't want to do that, or you can't do that, you can sell one of each type of cargo. So if I had something like this, I could sell this and this and this, which would get me six gold. Um, it's kind of useful to specialize in a particular type of cargo because that gets you a legendary star. And I'll go into those now because that's kind of the way that we win the game, or at least the way that we end the game. Um, so we dotted kind of around the map and uh, throughout different things that you can complete are legendary stars. When one player has got their third legendary star, we play a final round and then we tally up all our gold. So by getting all of a type of cargo and selling that at a settlement, you will gain yourself a legendary star and you are one third of the way to ending the game. Um, I'll go into the other ways you can get legendary stars sh shortly, but that's what cargo does. Um, other things that you might stop on on the map are um, these icons here. So if I picked a two and a two, they were the dice results available to me maybe at the start of the game. Um, and ended my turn here. I would gain a sailor, so I would draw a box around the sailor. So my crew is getting larger. You start with six sailors. Uh, whenever you gain one, you draw a box around it here. And the sailors, they let you do all sorts of things by manipulating the dice. So you can exhaust a sailor by crossing them out to change a dice result by plus or minus one. So you could turn a two into a three to move in this direction, for example. Or you could use them to manipulate the dice to complete certain rows or columns on your duties. Anytime you see a dice result, you can cross out 
a sailor to manipulate that result. And actually, you can cross out as many sailors as you want on a turn to manipulate as many dice or buy as much as you can. Uh, the only limitation is how many sailors you have. So collecting more sailors is great because it gives you more opportunities to modify the dice. But the other thing it lets you do is if you can get six more sailors, so if you can get to a crew of 12, you also unlock another legendary star. So that's another way to progress towards the end of the game. Um, the final item kind of dotted around the seas of the map is this uh, item here, which is a relic and stopping on that. So if I took a five and a two and ended my turn here, I would get to turn one of my sailors that I already have into a heroic sailor by drawing a circle inside a box, the box of one of the ones that I've already got. And um, they're like a kind of upgraded sailor. They can do more than a regular sailor. So they can, uh, by exhausting one of those, you can treat any dice result as any number. So you could make a one, a five, or a one, a six, or you know whatever you want. And again, that refers to dice for movement. It refers to dice for duties. Um, so much more flexibility over what you can do. The other use for heroic sailors is if you have two of them and you manage to get to this space here, which is the dread, the, the fearsome sea monster, you can exhaust those two heroic sailors and you've killed the dread and you've earned yourself 14 gold and another heroic star. So that's what heroic sailors do. And that's what the relics, which are these gold goblet icons do. They allow you to turn your sailors into heroes. Um, final items on the map are, um, there's another heroic, uh, there's another legendary star up here, sorry, which again is another way you can progress towards the end of the game. These legendary stars, every one that you've got by the end of the game also nets you three gold. So there is an incentive to try and get, get them even if you don't think you're going to end the game. Um, and then the final kind of item on the map to really talk about is uh, these kind of darker areas, which are unexplored oceans. And by traveling into them or traveling through them, so you don't have to stop in them, as long as you've crossed over the dotted line, um, so if I did something like this on my second turn, I went through, I've traveled through this uncharted region, which means it's now charted and, uh, they score gold, um, one for your first one, three for your, for, for two, six for three and so on and so forth. If you can get to all seven, you'll get 28 gold for that. I think that's pretty much everything. The... There are obviously the ways to get kind of items in the ocean is to stop on them. So you don't get them if you travel through them. So if I did something like this on my first turn with a one and a, and a five, I wouldn't get this hide because I've traveled through it, but I would get this relic, which I've stopped on. Um, other ways that you can get cargo and you can get her heroes and you can get, um, sorry, you can get relics and you can get sailors is by completing your duties, which I already mentioned. So if I completed this column here, I would get myself another sailor, which is great. Um, if you complete this row along the middle, you'll get a legendary star and you get a barrel. The barrel is a wild cargo, so it can be any of the cargo that you want. A okay. um, couple of final things. I've kind of probably said this in a, in a very roundabout way, but it's been a long day, so that's my excuse. Um, the settlements, when you sell uh, cargo to them, you also gain a sailor and you gain a sailor regardless of if you sell or not. So if you hit a settlement and you've got no cargo to sell, you still gain a sailor from visiting that settlement. You've done a bit of recruitment. Um, in terms of movement, you always travel the number of uh, the, the value on the number of dice you've chosen. So if I picked a two and a six, I would have to travel the full six spaces. Uh, unless you hit an island, you stop if you hit an island or the edge of the map. You stop if you hit the edge of the map. Um, I think that's everything. Roy, did you mention points. that you can go through, you can revisit spaces, like you can go back through spaces? Oh, thank you very much. Yes. So your journey is not um, is not necessarily a, uh, well, it is a linear one, but you can travel back along the same route. So I could do something like this on my first turn and then on my second turn. If there was a four and I wanted that as direction, I could do something like this. 
You can cross over lines that you've already drawn. Um, so you're, you're not limited to movement other than stopping when you hit an island or the dread or stopping when you hit the edge of the map. Otherwise, if it's available on the dice, you can you can do it. Also, just to say that each benefit on the map, you can only get once. So once you've gone to a settlement, you can't reuse it again. If you picked up a good in the sea, you can't pick it up again. Uh, Tantorilus has a question. If one ends moving on double space island with a settlement, but not on the space with settlement icon, does one activate that settlement? Yes. So the double islands, are effectively, this is one... This is one. Uh, this is one island. So this is one settlement, even though it's two hexes. And if you land on, let's say, for example, you know, this was something like my first three turns, and I landed on the settlement here. Well, first of all, I do any selling if I could do that. Uh, then I would gain myself a sailor for visiting the settlement. But on my next turn, I can either leave from this hex or I can leave from the other hex. So double space islands give you a little bit more flexibility when you leave from them because you've got two spaces that you can leave from. So let's say, for example, I picked a two and a two, I could either do this or I could do this. Uh, so that's what the double spaces allow you to do. Uh, guys, with the sailors, can we roll ones into sixes and sixes into ones? You can indeed, yep. So the dice wrap around. You can't make a seven, so you can't travel seven spaces, but you can, you're very right, Michael, you can turn a six into a one if you want, or a one into a six. Perfect. Oh, right. ding, ding, ding. Just got over 4,000. Oh, you're watching. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's, wow, sis. That's thank you. Incredible. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I think we're both slightly brain dead. So <laughs> we actually been a yeah, little... I mean, it, it is, it's amazing. And, uh, you know, we are, um, I think taken aback is probably too light of a term to use. I think we are, um, you know, we've been floored by the support of it. And it's just been incredible. And it's great. You know, I think, uh, you know, uh, we've, we've, Matt and I have talked quite a lot about what we would like to build Postmark into. And you can only really build something if you've kind of got good foundations to build from. And the support that people are investing into Voyages right now is just, is, is an incredible foundation to build from. So, you know, it's something that we can do to, we can, we can use that support to make Voyages even better with more maps and more content. And then we can also use it to build upon the kind of postmark games model for future releases. So yeah, it's absolutely incredible. It's um it's really, really great. So let's play. Let's play some voyages. Let's Make do it. it happen. All right. Perfect. All right. So I have uh of course, you know, I'm completely professional, should have had some insert to do this, but uh I've got this Google die roller here. So uh if we can trust a, a digital die roller, Rory was calling that. <laughs> Uh, so we will have the first roll, and we will we'll 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 go between people's screens. See how we go. We've got a one, a five, and a six. Can everyone see that? Okay, or is it a bit? Mm -hmm. I can see that. All right. I will. I will. I guess everyone's going to have to see what I'm doing. Um, start. Uh, where's mm. Michael's dice tower when you need it? Aqua's saying. Um, it is right here, Aqua. <laughs> Should it, we should I think I thought it would be a bit much to ask the guests to to you know <laughs> to roll the, the dice. dice. Yeah. Um, a quick thing about all, the order in which you do things. It doesn't matter for this kind of first opening term, but it might matter later on. Is you do your movement, um, you, then you do your duties because your duties might unlock things which are useful to you, and then uh -huh. you do the action on the space. So I've just gone north with the one. And I'm going to use the six as the speed because I stop when I hit this edge of the map. I'm going to use the five for uh, this part of the of the duties, and then you do the action of the space. So then I would make one of my sailors a hero. So yeah, it doesn't matter for this turn, but it may help you later on to know that you can do your duties before you have to do the action of the space. So before you have to sell a settlement or defeat the dread or whatever you're trying to achieve. Uh, Rock and Socket asks, hi folks, what's the significance of the numbers on the island? So uh, when you visit an island with a number, you're going to score that much gold at the end of the game. And each each island can only provide that many gold. Susan, we're going to throw to Susan. What have you been doing to a relic? Nothing. Nothing? Okay, sorry, I'll, I'll get away from the screen. No, 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 it's fine. No, I, I actually, I'm I'm used a couple of sailors to change. So I went in the sixth direction. 
but I changed my five into a three by using two sailors so that I could upgrade a sailor to heroic. And then I used the one to mark off my duty. Cool. Very, very efficient. Very efficient. Well, we'll uh, see. We'll find out. We'll see. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see, see how the winds, winds go. Uh, Mark, but you're okay? Oh, I, I, yeah, uh, yeah. Excellent. I'm the only one doing this old school, like proper, proper print and play. All right, so well, what I've see. done... Uh, so I use the five and the six to uh, do movement. Whoop! There we go. Uh, so yeah, I have used the five for my direction, and then slammed into the edge of the map, uh, and used the one for my duty down there at the bottom because I want that legendary star and barrel. Everyone wants that legendary star. Oh, it's uh, interesting to see it in black and white or grayscale print because that looked very clean, very readable. Still, mm. I like that. Oh yeah, 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 it is all good. It's super pretty. We like yeah, it. Yeah, so that looks great. For the campaign, um, the we've tested the color print black and white, and it works. It works pretty good. We're also going to do a low ink version as well, which will be kind of an art light version of this with kind of outlines. So uh, even more economical and and better for for print use. So if you are someone like Michael that wants to play often. Um, on printed sheets, you know, the low ink version is maybe a, a, a more efficient way of doing that. Um, so yeah, you'll have options if you if you if you pledge, you'll get all of those different options. Um, it's up to you. And if you want to laminate them or get them turned into pads or whatever you want to do, you know, it's 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 yours once the files get sent out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, second roll is a a three, a two, and a six. Uh... Uh, and while everyone groans, uh, V-Square says, I'm unable to hang around streamers off work or say congratulations on the Kickstarter campaign. Thank you so much. Thank you, V-Square, because you, uh, thank you for your sharing on, on Twitter. I've seen tweets, so thank you. Um, can't wait to play Voyages for your, yourself. Uh, can't wait to get it into your hands. Um, how do you win? Most gold is, is the winner. Most gold will be in. Okay, so we have the three, the two, and the six. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, for the heroic sailors. So mm -hmm. as we mark off heroic sailors, if I want to use a sailor, do I have to mark off a heroic sailor or may I mark off a different one? You can you mark off anyone, anyone you want. So you can save Excellent. your your heroic sailors for, for later on if you want. Um, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going on all these unexplored areas. Okay. Fastest ship in the Navy, me. I've done something incredibly inefficient and I visited a settlement without any cargo to sell them. So <laughs> I've shown up, I've opened uh, I've opened the barrels and they're empty. And I've said, sorry guys, it's just, you know, it's how it is. Um, sorry, folks. So Yoda in the chat, this is Matt's stream. It's not Michael's stream. So there will be no sound alerts, sound effects, annoyances and tomfoolery. <laughs> this is a serious... Serious gaming stream. Very serious. I do serious quite like people. to drop into Michael's streams every now and again. Just, I mean, the sigh that I gave when I had to just sort of introduce myself. You, you know, you get that quite often on Michael's streams when uh, <laughs> when someone triggers a sound effect mid midway through some work or something important. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like great, on a minute it's by minute see. basis, just a, yeah. a constant increasing disappointment in humanity. Yeah. No so anime theme songs. Good. No anime theme songs. No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. I, I, again, this very low low tech stream here. I'm afraid. So, uh, I, I picked up a. I picked up a. What is that? It's a gem. I picked up a gem. Yeah. Just, just just floating in the water. Um, very very convenient. Um, so, all good for the next roll. Everyone. All good. Yeah, I think so. All, off we go. It's a four, a one, four, and a three. One, three. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm liking the yeah, three. I can, I can work with that. And the one. Ooh, a three and a one? Well done, Matthew. <laughs> Good rolling. No, no, thank me. Thank Google. You know, it's, uh... All right. I got a barrel. So that can what be you anything. Get, what do you yeah. find in that barrel, though, Michael? Yeah. What do you find? Uh, I think I should like to find me some... Things. Uh, crap. Okay, so I've got a mark off a of four as well. Oh no, sorry, I've got a mark off a of three. Let's throw to to Suzanne. 
Yeah, that that three and one let me get to the six gold island. Oh, nice. Ooh, Ooh, right. Thank you. Very nice, very nice. Early leader here. We've got a, we've got a, we yeah. should have, we should have had it. We should have put some bash the leader mechanisms in this game already. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Right. <laughs> we need some hefty take that. I think. <laughs> yeah, every. I'm going through so sailors hefty. like they're water though right now. So. <laughs> Soon it'll just be a ghost ship, you know, just hits the shore and nobody can. <laughs> yeah. Marie Celeste expansion just sort of like starts floating, doesn't it, and doing its own thing. So where right. are you, Rory? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I am uh, just here, so I've picked up a sailor. Um, I, yeah, I feel slightly annoyed that I visited this island because I can't go back to this island to sell anything. I've, I've, <laughs> I've burned, burned all bridges with that island. So uh, if I do want to do some cargo, I've kind of limited my options for that now. But you know. That's classic, figured... classic Rory, you know. Yeah, short exactly. game, I guess, yeah. <laughs> but I, you know, I figured maybe I'm going to go for sailors because I've already, I've already picked up a couple, so maybe that's what well, I do. We shall see how that goes. And and hello to Les Palooza. Thank you very much for coming. I know, I know your uh, streaming voyages uh, after us, so we. Oh, sweet! Up, uh, thank yeah, yeah, thanks so much for the for the stream. Yeah, thank you. And also, Baron von Kump asked, "What happens if you play with 101 players?" The, the sheets disintegrate before your very eyes because you've broken the laws of physics. So, <laughs> you do you, you do you. All right, we've got a two, four, and a five. Okay. Two, four, five. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. okay, it's time to hurl another sail a sailor into the water, I think. <laughs> Turn the four into a three. M Michael, I distinctly remember when... I, we first played this at IdleCon. I tried to make the point that the sailors aren't dying. They're just, you're exhausting them. They're just so tired out. They've got to rest for the rest of the journey. Look, you um, live your fantasy and I'll live mine. <laughs> I see my boat as sort of like being powered by some sort of demonic blood engine. And... Okay. <laughs> my good gravy. <laughs> this is a family stream, Michael. We could have to... You know, hey! I'm going to... Families I'm going to do, um, to... do something <laughs> crazy. I'm going to spend a sailor to do some duties, but it gains me another sailor. So, cool. All right, spend a sailor. Let's see what you're up to, Michael. Okay, one sec. I've got. I've got to do some yeah. high quality coloring in. I, I feel right. like I'm coming around, like you know, like a ticket <laughs> inspector on the tube or something. Yeah, show us your ticket. Right? All right. So I have passed through my third unexplored area. Very nice. Um. Not really picked up a lot in the way of useful stuff. I mean, I got that barrel on the way down, which I discovered had a hide inside it. Uh, but I think my next turn is gonna is, is gonna be something a little bit more, a uh, little, little bit golden. You know, if I if we get a one, I can head up north, get that three points for that island. Um, there's a, there's a lot of good stuff around me, so yeah, life is good. Life is good. Life is good. All right, we'll we'll continue on. Uh, if I can even work out how to put my screen. Uh, Rock'em Sock'em go. Robot said, what's the usual runtime for a game? Um, uh, normally between 20 and 30 minutes, but you know, because it's this um, kind of first to three legendary stars that triggers the end, kind of, I guess it depends on the on the group. But yeah, sort of 20, 30 minutes is a, is a good estimate. We have a two, a one, and a six. One and a two is perfect. Two spots north gets that island. We should have had some little bonus if you don't like actually ram into the island that you just you know like sail smoothly into harbour, yeah. <laughs> just well, glide into harbour perfectly. Maybe that's an idea for a future map. Yes. All right, I have got an island, and boom, one, a two, and a six. Okay. And you always get a sailor at a settlement, right? Correct. Yeah. Regardless Correct. of whether you settle or not, you you always do some sly recruiting. Did they well, not I have, call that I have press been sly then. Press gaming, yeah. Again, Michael, I feel like you're making this into something much worse than it is. <laughs> Look, y'all, y'all have like this delightful, romanticized version of 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 voyages upon the high seas, and mine's just a blood fueled just... reign of piracy <laughs> and horror. Well, we've dropped in on on uh, Sue's. Where is she up to? Oh, oh I'm, nice. yeah, oh, wow. I'm in that. South uh, West Island is where I am right now. Nice. And sold some cargo as well. Which is I did, but it wasn't super efficient. It was the only thing I could pick up on the way 
I'm I it, it may come back to bite me later, but we, we'll see. We shall we shall see. I, I uh, love there's... how we are just in completely different places already. Like our little trips have just gone all over the shop already. In 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 a few short turns. Um that is true. There is a question from PMP community. Will there uh, would there ever be any solo player maps? So the game is uh, could be played solo, and we'll we'll cover that near the end. But basically, you play sixteen turns, uh, and you can lose. You have to get at least three stars within those sixteen turns. If you don't get that, you you automatically lose. But if you manage to get the three stars, then you can try and get the best score uh, within those sixteen rounds. And Rory has this lovely thing that he uh, that it fits just around the wind rows here, so you can mark off your rounds. Oh no, it's not on my screen at the moment. Yeah, and we, the intention is that the, um, the future maps will be solo compatible as well. Um, I mean, maybe not all of them. We might do something which has some specific multiplayer stuff, but I'd like to, uh, you know, I'd like to be in a place where there's a good amount of solo content as well. If you're a solo only player, I, I completely didn't notice that about the wind rows, but that is a fantastic little touch. Curse your that, intelligence ways. I think it was Matt's idea, actually. But um, oh, really? Okay. Yeah, okay. I can't take all the credit, sadly. All right, we've got one, two, four. One, two, four. Uh, while we're thinking, Tantorus asks, if one starts from a double island and combines starting hex and movement to move onto the same island, no, you you cannot, you can't, you, yeah, you have to go, you have to leave the island, basically. Um, yeah, so effectively on the, on the double hex islands, You've kind of um, the the benefit is that you can move, you can leave from either hex, but I guess the downside is that you kind of do have a missing a missing side. So, uh, for example, you know in this uh, uh, bottom right um, bottom left island, sorry that we're looking at here. If you were on the space with the if you landed on well if you landed on any, any of it, you couldn't use a six or a three to go back and forth between the two hexes because you're treating it as one space. So they would take you off the island. So you always, when you're moving, when you're moving away from the island, you always leave the island. You can't kind of travel around inside it. Maybe that would be another expansion where you have like canoes or something. You can travel around the, the rivers of the island, but not right now. Okay. I'm going so that last run. roll was a, a... One, two, one, and a four. One, two, one, two four, four, yeah. I think I need to cross off a... So Lies Q is talking about, I wrote my name on my sheet just out of habit. And they're wondering if there's going to be a space for, you know, putting your player name on the sheet. Good question. Also, is there going to be a place where I can name my ship? Well, quite possibly. We've, you know, we, I don't, Matt, maybe this is giving away too much, but we've been talking a little bit about, um, maybe looking at kind of campaign-y style stuff as well. Um, again, you know, with um, with Voyages, you know, to, to kind of stress it for the umpteenth time, it's just it's just me and Matt right now. So uh, <laughs> we are a limited resource, but kind of, you know, the, be the better the campaign does, frankly, the more time we can invest into it. Um, and we've kind of got ideas for stuff ready to go. And, yeah, who knows what we'll we'll be able to rustle up. Um, okay, so future. I need to tell everybody on the stream to tell three of your friends to go check out the campaign so that I can get a spot where I get to name my boat. <laughs> because I really want a spot to name my boat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think, I think we could definitely put that on. <laughs> no, I think that, 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 would be, that would be quite nice, definitely. Yeah. Um, did I do everything? Uh, so uh, I will try to show. Well, well, we'll go to the next turn and we can chat a bit more. Uh, two, three, and a six. Oh, I think um, my is my thing still up. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, Matt, can we'll, we get back on your screen. Oh, sorry, sorry, good point. It's two, two, three, and a six. Two, three, and a six. Six. We should have we should have sent slightly different coloured versions to everybody so I could quickly look at them amongst the thing. Yeah. And know which one was which. <laughs> But otherwise, I'm just looking at the, the thing. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, I do like it good. Yeah, that was that was real good, actually. Okay, this is probably going to be a stupid move. But hey. So I end up. Uh, Jay has asked, what would you name your ship if there was a spot for it? 
Um, I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if that question was directed to me, but I think I would, I'd want something, uh, you know, the antithesis of Michael, something kind of romantic and and wistful, maybe, I don't know, like the eagle's breath or something um, you know, that's, <laughs> that feels non-threatening and, and exciting. Eagle's breath. Oh, oh, question so I... for everyone. All right, Suze, what's yours? Oh, I, uh, the, um, well, right now it would be the SS pie. Yeah. SS peach pie right now. Um, am I supposed to let you know when I accomplish a legendary star or does that not matter? Uh, no, let's, let, yeah, that is important. So yes, yes. So we could, I could even throw you up here. How have you accomplished oh, that star? Wowzers. Oh, I, oh, I see. I, I believe I've accomplished a legendary star. You you've, done your, you've done your duties. I, I, so I'm full of duty. <laughs> uh, That's a commitment to duties. It's definitely funnier for North Americans than it is for, I think, something. Yep. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, I'm American, and that's what we do best is center ourselves and make it all about ourselves all the time. So, no, no, no. It's, it's, I'm glad that, it, you know, it, it, it means different things to different people, you know, with, with international appeal. Um, <laughs> we've got, we've got a bit of Bodie, Bodie, Bodie McBoatface in, in the chat, um, which is, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think Suzanne, have you heard of the the? the of course, I okay. mean that's legendary. Okay. I should, yeah. We well, maybe that could be that should be a little mini promo. I think Rory, the the Bodie Bodie McBoat McBoat face. Face. yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, did you get Rory? What were you going to call your ship? I don't know if we got that. From uh, you. Yeah, something like I don't know. Oh, like, the Eagle's uh, Breath. Or the Eagle's it was. Breath. Yeah. Uh, and Michael, we didn't hear from you. Sorry. Um, the Blood Eater, of course. It has to be <laughs> the Blood Eater. Yeah. Okay. Not the bone, the bone eater. Yeah, bone eater. Nice. That's dark. That is dark. And then it can have like a little, you know, like it has a little rowboat that it, it has behind it, so you can get to the beaches easier. That can be the blood drinker. So, I mean, peach pie, bone eater, and eagle's breath—they're three very different different vibes, aren't they? <laughs> Are we well, all yeah, like our maps look same very one. different. Our voyages yeah. look very different right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got a one, a three, and a five. Oh, oh boy. hello. Uh, mm. <laughs> it's like hello. It's it's a oh, actually, no, no, that's pretty good. Okay, so, uh, oh, what's it doing? One. I don't execute love it. another I sailor gets me onto this island. All right, uh, heads up. I too have got a legendary, uh -oh. uh, legendary star. My oh, I think one. I'm being too conservative. I've got to start blasting through some sailors. No. <laughs> Don't do that, Rory. That... <laughs> they deserve to live. <laughs> Your loyal crew. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm getting big, sort of like Shenmue on the Dreamcast vibes. <laughs> like all these horrifying sailor jokes. <laughs> I, Nicholas has got a, a suggestion for a name The Grateful Dread, which I, I like oh. as a name for, for, for Yeah, that's very good. Respect, respect. Um, what am I doing though? That is the great question. I have no idea. Um, okay, as a heads up, I have uh, just landed on the eight island in the top right corner. Oh. Just so I just know where I'm at. Nobody oh. likes a show off, Michael. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, it's I just just got a very fast boat. Apparently, it's the uh, we have the same boats, we get the same numbers. <laughs> Stop making better decisions, please. <laughs> that is just not allowed. That is not allowed to make better decisions. Uh, I, I'm 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 geared up for the dread. We definitely need a uh, a one uh, on the next turn. So I'm hopeful there. Uh, shall we all cross to we'll have a quick recap of where everyone's at? Rory. Ooh. Wow! Look at the... that. You always like yeah. very long, straight sections of sailing, Rory. I seem to know. Well, that. maybe that's something about just me. I'm trying to escape something. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> well, if you're trying to escape, then you need to, like, serpentine, right? Yeah, you need to, okay. like, weave and yeah. dodge. Maybe that's why I'm good to always good to do so badly. Not enough weaving. Need to be thinking about that. And Also, uh, I, I love how you're, like, you're skirting around the edges of the um, the unexplored areas. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, you're not bad. actually going in and going, nah, mate, I'm not, I'm mean, not going anywhere near that. <laughs> I, you know, I think you might know me well enough 
by now, Michael. I'm not someone who likes to take risks at all. So I think this is probably fairly accurate as, <laughs> as to how I would live, live my life on the open ocean. Uh, and we can throw uh, Suzanne. This is uh, another island, uh, a bit more unexplored territory. Yeah, trying to hit a few more of those, maybe. Very nice. Skulking around the, the edge of the map. Good to see. Good to see. Uh, and yeah, okay, Michael's you're, up on. You're, you're like 11 backers away from a thousand backers. I just yeah. have to oh, tell really? you that. Yeah, I, I have That's a amazing. Here. I'm going to be slamming this bell in a couple of seconds with oh, that. Oh, that would be uh, incredible. It'd be, it'd be I, I, you got to hit a thousand before the stream ends, right? I'll be beautiful to do it on the stream. That would be very powerful. Well, there you go. Go out and 10 more. Your, your you got friends. one in like, you got one more backer on the time I said it. It's been the time it took me to say you've got 11 back, and that's Wait, amazing. Keep saying oh. it, Suzanne. Ah. Honestly, every time you say something. <laughs> Quick, refresh, refresh. That's nine, amazing. Nine, it nine refreshes on its own. 992. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> All right, we can have one, one more roll, and then we'll... we'll okay. We'll, we'll we got another turn. Yeah, we can do it. All right. A one, oh, a three, and a five. One, three, oh, and a that five. was Ooh. perfect. Oh, yes, and all those people who were asking about the, uh, hero the, the Dread, yes, you need two... Uh, non-used heroic sailors, and then they use them up. So actually, I'm about to do that because I can go a one, um, and I I will hit the dread, and I've done the dread, but I have to exhaust my two heroic sailors to do so, and that gives me a a legendary star. I too have just got a legendary star, so that means we're all on one. Is that right? I think yeah. so. I believe so. Oh, it's uh, just behind everyone, but that's okay. What am I doing for that though? Hmm. Okay, I need to go and sell some stuff at some point in yeah, the oh, very this is near terrible. future. Terrible. Got another wild. Let's get a gem this time. I was too freewheeling using my sailors early on. That's it. I've, got, I've got one left, and I'm sort of like very worried about using them. Yeah, I, but I don't. A, a one? I. Not happy. I mean, you can get another sailor. Yeah. I know. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. I'll, 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 move, I'll, move, I'll, I'll, I'll move off the screen. There we go. Let me play a piece. The pressure, Apologies. the public Apologies. pressure. It's terrible. Oh, who's... Okay. Is that yours, Matt? No, that's Rory. Oh, that's Rory so dr driving up the into pressure the on Rory now. Wait, what it's doing, a Rory? one, a three, and a what? A five. One, three, and a five. That Sailor. was the last roll, right? Are we not... Sailors are for life, not just for Christmas. We gotta remember. That. Uh... One, three, and five was the last roll. The one where yeah, you got yeah, the dread. I'll... Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'll put that. I'll put that in. Let's see that. Um... Nine nine six. Oh, yeah, close. you're on the. You're on the. <laughs> He's checking the thing. Um... So are we are we okay to roll again? Yep. I think I'm good All to good. go. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. It's a one, two, and a four. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can I can work with that. Mm. Okay. Okay, so this is our tenth one. Hmm. 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 So I could go get that legendary star, <laughs> but I feel that that would be unwise, foolish. I am out of sailors, which is not wise. Ruh -roh. Hmm. Not wise indeed. Um, oh, I got an extra one. So I, I completely didn't draw one. Oh, I, you, I miss. Oh, sh shucky darns. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm in a bit of trouble, but that's fine. It's uh, fine. Th thanks, Loser Palooza, for jumping in the, the uh, Kickstarter comments and directing folks over to the stream as well. 999. So I should concentrate nine, on actually playing the damn game. Nine nine. <laughs> we were watching so much Brookwell nine nine yesterday. <laughs> One two four. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go south one. 
Oh, I might go for my second star. Two to play with. Oh, I see a thousand. I see a thousand. I see a thousand. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait. Uh, refresh. Refresh. I'm refreshing. I'm going. There oh, we wow. go. Woo. Oh, hey. I mean, that's an incredible sight, Matt, that I didn't think we would see. So, I mean, that's No, I didn't think amazing. Either. That's great. Yeah. No, well, thank Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. I'm glad, I, I, well, that was, I mean, how great that it could happen on stream too. Like, it's joy is best shared so uh, indeed congratulations guys that's yeah, nice awesome work. and i'm very happy for you hey, thank you uh, thanks for i, think, I think that 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 warrants giving your guests a free sailor right <laughs> <laughs> wow that was what was that it was that five seconds from the from the one thousand to, to the turning <laughs> we could get <laughs> You can I'm have kidding. Sailor, I'm kidding. We we want our victory to be pure and unfettered exactly. Exactly. by Mercy Sailors. I mean, you're going to beat Rory at least, so I wouldn't worry. Like, well, I don't know. I was thinking. I was thinking. I don't, know, I, I don't know if I'm more excited by a thousand backers or the fact that I'm playing quite well. I mean, oh, it's, oh. it's a maelstrom of emotions right now. <laughs> yeah. Rory, no, you should really, really be more excited by a thousand backers. Yeah, I'm just I, saying. I <laughs> I should also say, I mean, the other really amazing thing is a whole bunch of people are backing it more than four pounds. Not, you know, like there are, uh, which I also was um, really surprised. Like, just thanks for really generous people. Like, that's that's a really, uh, and it's absolutely not expected at all. Like, like any pledge or even just sharing, it's great. But um, that was also like, I'm just, I was really like, it's just a really nice surprise to see people. No, uh, this is, all this is right, fantastic. I'll go and increase my pledge. No. So I can be one of those uh, people too. Jeez. No. Uh, I won't because I'm broke. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, all right. Give yeah. me a give me a five. All right. All right. All right. Give all me right. a five. Enough, enough of that celebrating. Back to the actual game. I swear game. to God. A one, four, and a four. Okay. Well, I mean that's I close. I can execute another sailor. That's one. <laughs> oh my goodness. One. So violent. I know. I know. I mean, it's, okay. It's less execution. It's more sort of like giving themselves up for the greater good. Uh, that is my second legendary oh, crikey. star. Crikey, crikey, As crikey, I bump into nice. the island and sell uh, not one, not two, but three hides. Oh my gosh. I feel like we have to, we have to show this on. Basically, it's been, it's been a, a, literally a wild ride going around collecting <laughs> the barrels. Uh, yeah, so... I like it. I that. love the little arrows you put on your your like. Yeah, that's a that's, that is a very pretty map, Michael. I like Bless that. Bless you. Bless you for your kindness. Yeah, <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to have to. We'll all sign it and have it framed, and you know, like was was played during the thousands backer stream. Uh, Rob is uh, uh, Rob is proposing five k by the end of the stream. I mean, I'm absolutely here for it. If um, if that's what I, I think I, I think that. Uh, I don't, it might be we'll a little see. bit. I, yeah, I, I feel like we might be keeping our guests a little bit late for that. But if we get there, that'd be fantastic. So keep telling your friends. Hey, uh, it, it's gone way. up by like a hundred and sixty backers since we've been on stream. So that is incredibly good going. Yeah, yeah. No, I've, I've been really. I, I yeah, I'm just out of words basically. <laughs> well, I think that it's hard, it's hard you know we're all we're all industry experts, right, on this stream. And uh, what we were talking about earlier is just how timely this postmark productions and voyages is in terms of kind of where the community and where the industry is, and how appealing the idea of a game that is well designed, beautifully presented incredibly affordable mm -hmm. and easy to deliver like that that's such a magical combination i mean and i think that i'm not denigrating bigger box games with tons of minis because those are awesome too in a different way right but i think that one of the beautiful things about board games is that there's a huge like it's a cornucopia right and i think that this game probably feels really refreshing and really appealing and it's just it feels like the right game at a good moment uh and and hopefully you're you're reaping the benefits of that and people are really recognizing the value of a product like this and an initiative like postmark games and i think 
I, I hope that the numbers show that you have tapped into something that the industry and the, that the community is eager for. Uh, and it sets you up for, you know, whatever Postmark does next. Oh, thank you. So, oh, I'll, I'll so just much. have to get you to follow me around all the time, Suzanne. You'll make me feel better, much better about my <laughs> life all the time. <laughs> um, and, and something actually better also the chat says, I'd love to see a suitable for video chat stamp on it. Such a good call out for project. Yeah, I think it's Ooh, just, good one. there's all different ways that you can play games now. There's even more than we had two years ago. And I think that, yeah, that was definitely something we we had in our mind. But uh, no, we've, we've um, yeah. Uh, you know, give uh, also credit to, um, Michael, we talked about this at the top of the stream, and I'm not sure I would have designed a game that played well over video chat if it wasn't for IdleCon. It wasn't something that was high on my agenda as a designer, so it's like wonderful to see opportunities like that that kind of make you think differently. I mean, that's what all what what you always want as a creative person in any any kind of any, any profession is to be put into situations where where someone says, "What if you did it?" What if, what if you did this? You know, if they, they gave some constraints to you and it's like, mm -hmm. well, I can work with this and this is really exciting. So, yeah, props to Michael for that as well. Thank you. I mean, I, I, I love designing to constraints. Like, you have this production budget or you have to use these things. And it's it, it it's a, it's a thing I really like to sort of, like, push and challenge you as a as a game designer. Um, but to be honest, you know, this is this is all you. You know, this is your baby. It, I just sort of like was there going, nobody should be lonely during Christmas. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like, all right, well, let's make some freaking games. And now we're at Christmas again. So there you go. Oh, oh, God, yeah, please don't great. mention that. Don't mention All right, with that, let's, let's, <laughs> next roll. Let's, let's, let's roll. Let's roll. Hey, I've got a, a Enough one. praising of people. Let's get to the, <laughs> yeah. the good back stuff. To the, back oh, to the gosh. backstabbing. I can't. I'm just. Is that a I'm, one one six you just rolled? It is a one one six. And what I am the just, heck fire is that? I know. I know. It's not good for me. I'm. I'm. I'm utterly becalmed, basically. I am okay with that, actually. I don't want to well, upset nice everyone, but you. I'm going to trigger the end of the game. I'm going to oh, trigger God. the what? final round. What? Uh, I know. You collect, so you're collecting your third star. I'm collecting my third star by. I'm actually collecting two stars. I've got. I've got four stars. What? Um, yeah. What is that badness? How did you get two in one hit? I completed my duties and I sold three goods to a to a settlement. You absolute piece. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you for saying what needed to be said. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, there was part of me I thought for a moment. You know, this is great. I'm having a wonderful time. With there's. It's good vibes, great company. Should I end this now? But there's also that part of me which is like, <laughs> last time I lost on stream so badly that he, I, he wants to chance, win for once. It's a chance. Oh gosh! Well, you're okay. So we're I mean, gonna get. We are going to get one more round after this. Exactly. Correct? Exactly. Once yeah. once okay. somebody gets a third star, then we get one more round after that, and that is the end of the game. So yes. I really, we'll really, really need a three or a five. Otherwise, my score is going to be very, very sad. Okay, I've got one. Sa I've got one sailor that's left. To ex that I can left to execute. <laughs> execute. Which will oh potentially give me something. Gravy, that it. Oh, Rory. I'm so sorry. You effed no, up you're all not. The plans, no, Rory. you're not. Don't lie. I need. I need. I need to get up to. If I'm going to do anything on this turn, I've got to get up to this. This star. Yeah. I've got to get the three points off of that star. Yeah. I mean, the other thing about about voyages is the person who triggers the end of the game isn't necessarily the person who wins the game. So we'll see. I might have shot myself on the foot. I don't know. We I will don't see. Think so. we'll we see. will see. All right. Are we ready for the final roll? Final roll. Give us a two and a five. Uh, my soul is five. crushed. Any any other? Suze, what would you like? Re any requests? You know, it doesn't matter. Give me a one because I got nothing. This is this is all <laughs> terrible. Okay, great. All right. I, we've got a three, a four, a six. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, just, just a sad sort of like, no. Uh, All right. I can, I can crash into the star. That's fine. So, okay. Well, that's pretty good. So if I... I... If I can get into that other area, the other unknown area... It's the unknown area score again. Ah. Yeah, this is so bad. This is so bad. Okay, so I can't even use that. 
had four uh, left n- none to of do. these help me actually a four left to do nothing. well i should hope they're not going to help you rory <laughs> <laughs> I'll just head out into the open ocean to to celebrate a party boat. Exactly. All right. Well, I'll just do that because I think it boosts this, and then I can do this, which gets me a heroic sailor. That's good. That's that's some gold at the end of the game. Okay. So what we might do is go through each player individually Uh and see their voyage and and what they'll score. Um, So, Suze, I might we might start with you. All right. Screen. So the first is you score points for your numbered islands that you visited. Okay. Okay. I, I'm going to do mine like sure, now, sure, and then sure. I'll, I'll show them all at the end. There we go. Uh, and then it's unexplored regions. Um, so, so I hit four, so I get so ten. That's ten. Right? Okay. Yeah. Cool. So my sold cargo total is twelve. Correct. Yep. Now, I would like to... I have terrible penmanship, but it's not this terrible. I'm using, like, a mouse. <laughs> I think there is actually a text thing that you can click and hit, uh, like, a little text button. But Oh, anyway, sure. No, not... no, I'm committed now. <laughs> you've, got to, you've got to be lo- you know, consistent. You know, totally consistent. I, I wanted... Like, my whole goal in this game was to defeat the Dread. Uh, and look. Look what I didn't do. You're, like, one turn off, basically. Rory. Yeah. And then I get six here because I did because I get a legendary star for selling off yeah. all my fruit, correct? Yeah. So I yeah I got two, so I get six there. So yeah. Well, let's see. 22. Let's see. So. Twenty-two, thirty-one, thirty-three, thirty-nine. Right. Yep, thirty-nine. All right. Let's throw to Michael. You still? Oh, still working. Oh. All right, please we'll hold. Drawry then. I think it's done his thing. Uh, six for my, my island, which is not great. Six for unexplored regions, which is also not great. But twelve for cargo, which is all right. No unused heroic sailors. Defeated the dread for fourteen gold. Got twelve gold for my legendary stars because I got four. I'm just going to say that again. I got four legendary stars, so I think that's fifty altogether. Oh my god. <laughs> That Ouch. Just, that is just mean. Uh, that, yeah, when you said you did the dread as well, I was just like, what the hell is this, this person be doing? Yeah. All that solo practice has really paid off for me, I think. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, Michael, you're up. All right, okay. Uh, we well, got points. So, uh, trigger. I love it. Uh, 11 points for my islands. Uh, we went to four different unexplored areas, so that's 10 points. Uh, we got all the hides, so 12 points selling for that. Still got a gem in my pocket, though, so um, kind of rude I can get to sell that. Uh, no room for heroes on my boat. Uh, everybody is just fuel, and of course, we avoided the dread. We saw it and came away, cowards. Uh, and we got three stars, which gives us, I believe, a total score of 42. Yep, that is well it. done. Well done. Uh, so Rory is 50, 42 to Michael, 39 to Suzanne, and I don't think I'm going to trouble the scorers too much. Uh, I visited two islands uh, for total nine. I had three unexplored regions for six. I sh- sold two goods, poultry two goods, only four points. No heroic sailors left. I did defeat the dread for 14, and I got two stars for six points. And all up, that is 39 as well, I believe. So. Well done. We have. We I feel like I should put the winners winners thing up. Uh, Rory has won. Excellent work, Rory. Thank you very much. Congratulations. I do feel slightly bad, um, but also Eagles breath emerges victorious. (laughs) Your your reward is that you got twenty six extra backers since you hit a thousand. Twenty seven. It's gone up again. I mean, that's incredible. Just keep on going. It's, it's it's actually blowing my mind. I am I am cognizant of the fact that it looks like Matt and I are very nonplussed about this because we're both like, yeah, cool. It's not. That's just <laughs> you know, it's sheer dumbfoundedness. That's um, that's that is what we're expressing right now. It's uh, yeah, it's more than we could have ever hoped for. So, no, I, yeah. I, I know I know what your headspace is, Rory and Matt. It's like. What do, what do you mean? People are like throwing money at this thing that we're making. That's yeah. A, it's always a weird feeling. Um, it's lovely, but it's always like a weird feeling. Um, but no, you deserve it because it's it's great. Even with really my um, 
even with my my, my bloody eating boat. <laughs> No, well, it's uh, no, and, and really, and thank you for, uh, and thank you both also for playing along with uh, then coming coming on stream. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that is my sort of perfect end to a first day of uh, of the of the campaign. Really, uh, the campaign doing better than hoped for, and then yeah, playing the game with in great company. I couldn't really ask for anything more. And, and crushing your enemies. And, yeah, I mean that does feel <laughs> good as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is awesome, and I, I I really like the game, and I'm so glad that it's been a hit, and that um, I know how excited you are, and I think it's it's really meaningful in in today's kind of like corporate world that a, a, a truly independent group of you know of a publisher that is just trying to make great games affordable and you know get them out there in the world. Um, I'm glad that people are recognizing that. And um, I, I can't wait to, I know that you've, we've got, you've got unlocked at least one, you've got one other sheet at least, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that's um, exciting. And um, I can't wait to. Well, yeah, we'll release some more details about that um, as the campaign goes on. Um, and yeah. And our plans for, for map number three as well. So yeah, we've still got some things up our sleeves to, to kind of hopefully keep people excited uh, and keep people spreading the word. Yeah. I mean, that's also the really great thing about this this model is that we can. I, I love being able to give people new stuff easily and and actually for no extra cost. You know, it's because we could just email people new maps. It means that mm -hmm. you know you get to refresh that and and um, yeah, we hope that if people like the game, then they're going to get more stuff for it. But it also means if you come later, then you've got a whole bunch of stuff that you can get all at the same time. So you know, whether you join now or whether you join later. Um, then hopefully you'll get to to benefit from from yeah the enthusiasm and, and the kind of support from everybody now, which is definitely giving us um, yeah a lot of motivation to keep going. So it's uh, yeah. no, it's a really just really really grateful actually, just grateful to the community generally. Or we've we've been fortunate enough that um, yeah it's been it's just been pretty uh, positive. So so thank you, folk, and and especially the, the real positive from from Suzanne and Michael. Thank you so much. Uh, for, for joining us and just yeah. um, thank you thank you so much for inviting us really being the it. wonderful human beings that you both are so um you know even outside of all this so so thank you uh bless you and with all of that uh, we might we might uh, end up the stream um bez thank you very much as shared the sort of shared the project again um i'm just trying to catch up slightly on chat sorry that i wasn't so much on top chat uh, during the time um Actually, Lose Palooza, who, yeah, so everybody, um, we probably won't be raiding uh, Lose Palooza because I think they're starting in about 40 minutes. Um, you can correct me if uh -huh. I'm wrong. Um, so if everyone is still around in 40 minutes, if you're watching, go and check out uh, Lose Palooza. They'll also be streaming Voyages. Uh, actually, it's funny, I just had to highlight this comment because it's it's like this is a perfectly planned stream. He mentions this new roller I call Ballada, which I just have right next to me, you know. Oh, as, as very well planned. <laughs> Uh, which is a kind of cool awesome new role, right? This is by some friends uh, in the Czech Republic. Um, and also kind of a, a little bit like Postmark Games. It's a, uh, a, a trio of people. One illustrator who did the, the work is also a game designer as well. And game designer, they work together. And, and they make games by, uh, they go to a print shop. They have a friend who owns a print shop and they just go there for a weekend and make a game, like a game jam. With the added thing of professionally printing it by the end of the game jam. That's, That's great. So cool. actual That's card awesome. Stock. Yeah, uh, which is which is super super cool, and uh, and we're, we're do they do together now. Do they do um, Terra Futura as well? I think that was one. Yes, was they're also the designers of Terra Futura. Yeah, so yeah, yeah so the great. company is called Albi. There, I feel like I'm flying the flag for the Czech Republic now. So Albi is a is a publisher and distributor in the Czech Republic, uh, and they mostly do localizations, but they do publish some of their own games. And uh, so it's uh, Peter Wojtek and Jindřich Pavlosek. Uh, they're the the, the uh, Yinja is the, the illustrator and designer. Peter is, is a designer as, uh, as well. Um, yeah, really, really fantastic uh, folks. And yeah, Ballada, check it out. It, uh, it's a great little role in uh, Flip and Fill, uh, where you're sort of, ba Ballada is like ballad. Um, so you're telling the tale of, of your, uh -huh. your journey and things like that. And, that and Terra Futura, uh, of course. So uh, yeah, sorry, quick, quick plug for the role and right there. Um, but yeah, I think, um, is anybody, if anyone in chat knows someone we should raid, we, we can raid along uh, and we will do that. Um, well, Suzanne, anything, what, what's coming up for you? Any, any, anything you, you would like to share with the world, share with? 
I mean, I, like? yeah, I, I, uh, I will be attending PAX Unplugged in a few weeks uh, with Restoration Games, and I'm really excited. It'll be my first convention since the whole Panini thing, and so I'm a little nervous, but I'm also extremely excited because I miss seeing people and I miss, you know, um, all that. So, uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's that's what's coming up next for me, and just trying to get through the holiday season. That's it. Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm... Yeah, I'd love to go to PAX sometime, but yeah, it's uh, a little. I'm not. I'm not going to board a plane across the ocean right now. I think that seems a bit uh, tricky. Uh, Michael, what about you? What, what what is coming up for you in the? Um, I think my next event is probably going to be Nuremberg Toy Fair, um, assuming that Germany doesn't implode into a Omicron variant extravaganza. Uh, we'll see how that goes. My next live live show with humans. Uh, is probably going to be Aircon, which I'm super looking forward to. Please, maybe we can meet there, Michael. Please maybe let we us can go to Aircon. Maybe yes. I can finally, I can finally put a, a, a height to the to the the floating head. I'm, I'm going to keep it in like uh, I'm, like keep you guessing, like a nebulous like. Da -da. This is like how is Nuremberg not live life? I mean, okay, Nuremberg is industry, and we're all industry people. Aircon is like. For the people and you know regular regular good humans um yeah aside from that um i could stream please do stream with me on twitch.tv slash idle michael and uh wayfinder games is a thing and i wish i could say more about <laughs> my next game because i'm really freaking excited about it <laughs> well i look forward to i guess yeah, you'll probably know. announce it on stream sometime uh, uh yeah well okay i'll be announcing it on the people who have the licenses uh, okay. stream yeah well we look we look Ooh, forward to that this is uh, that's it, exciting too go and follow follow uh, michael oh, sorry i did say also suzanne you could be found at at is twitter kind of where, where do you like yeah to, you can find me at 425 suzanne on twitter or instagram but also i forgot like michael reminded me um I do have a Twitch channel with my um, podcast partner and dear friend, Mandy Hutchinson. That's Salt and Sass Games on Twitch. And we have plans. We're working on things to start getting a little more, um, a few more things going there. So uh, if people are so inclined, give us a follow there. Thank you. So that's Salt and Sass. I'm going to make sure. I think I am following, but I'm now checking it myself. Uh, yeah, uh, Salt and Sass Games with an S. Yeah, it's oh, all one word. Well, yeah. Oops, that's, that's, don't forget Aquas, that, everybody. Oh, Aquas, Aquas, Aquas 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 has it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you thank so much. You. That was very kind. Thank you. Fantastic. Uh, and Rory, what is, uh, apart from a bit of a sleep, I guess. Uh. Uh, yeah, I mean, we might, um, I guess maybe we'll do some kick, Kickstarter comments. Um, but for the most part, I think I might watch some more of uh, that. Epic Beatles documentary on Disney Plus. <laughs> Maybe have a small gin and tonic and then go to sleep feeling pretty happy. Awesome. That, that sounds sounds quite lovely. Uh, yes, and well, I'm Matthew. Um, thanks very much for thank you for everyone joining. Uh, again, thank you for the amazing support of the project. We'll be going for the next twelve days, trying to talk about you know talk about things coming out for the game, um, building a bit of community, um, and can't wait to share the game with all of you fine fine people. Uh, we will raid Paula, I think. Um, so I'll make sure that I, that actually works for me. Yeah, I think that's all right. Um, yeah, so thank you again. Thank you again. Huge thanks to Suzanne and Michael. Fantastic folk. Go and follow their channels. Please do that. Um, the, chat, the, the things are in the, the comments to do that. Um, great. All right, let's go. Let's raid. And have a great day, everybody. Have a fantastic uh, Thanks, evening. everyone. Whatever. Thank you so Bye, much. Everyone. See you later. Bye. Thank you for popping by. Congrats, Bye. Postmark. Woo. Thank, you. thank you. Start the raids. Let's see how we go. It is still thinking about rating. It's going super well. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, right. I think that should be. Yeah. Woo woo.